The next question from the slip is uh, Brother Amar Sinha. He has asked, you promote interfaith dialogues. In this, do you agree with those who say all the religions are same? Brother, there was a question that since I promote interfaith dialogue, do I agree with those people who say that all religions are same? There are various interfaith dialogue going on throughout the world, even in Bombay, and we find that religious personalities of various religions come on the stage and say all religions are the same. A Hindu personality comes, a religious leader and says all religions are same. A Muslim personality comes and says all religions are same. A Christian personality comes and says all religions are same. I ask them a simple question. That if you agree all religions are the same, then will a Christian priest give up Christianity and will he become a Muslim? Will a Muslim person give up Islam and will he become a Hindu? Will a Hindu priest give up Hinduism and will he become a Christian? The answer is no. These people, they try and portray an image of being secular. They scratch each other's back. It's like a student asking a teacher that 2 plus 2 is equal to how much? Is 2 plus 2 is equal to 3? Or is it equal to 4? Or is it equal to 5? Three teachers come on the stage and say, all three answers are correct. 2 plus 2 is equal to 3 also, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 also, and 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 also. This is nothing but garbage. I being a student of Islam and comparative religion, I have read the various scriptures. I know the practices of the various religions are not the same. I believe in communal harmony. I believe in interfaith dialogue. What I say, if we make an assumption, that let's assume that at least amongst all the various scriptures, various religions, at least one scripture is 100% authentic, the word of God. Now this assumption, no religious personality would object to. I would not mind accepting at least one of the religious scriptures being the word of God. The Christian would say, fine, at least one means, at least Bible is the word of God. The Hindu will say, no problem, at least the Veda is the word of God. The Muslim will say, no problem, at least Quran is the word of God. Now what you do, you collect all the hundreds of teachings from the Christian Bible, from the Hindu scripture, the Veda, and from Islam, the Quran. Now you find the commonalities. Suppose 50 are common. Now when we take out 50 commonalities, the teachings from all these religious scriptures, everyone will at least agree that this portion of the various scriptures at least is surely the word of God and no one would object implementing it because it is present in all the scriptures this technique of communal harmony is based on the Quranic verse of Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse 64 which says Ta'ala will akalmithin sawa imbayna baynakum come to common terms as we have you there may be other differences there may be other differences in the religions I can give a talk even on differences between Islam and Hinduism but since they are coming on commonalities no one would object on following the commonalities because it is present in all the religious scripture. There may be some people who may not be well versed of the scripture. They may sometimes be offended. For example, if I point out that all the religious scripture, whether the Bible, whether the Veda, whether the Quran, says he should not do idol worship. Now since he is not aware of the Vedas, he may feel offended. But yet, he will not go against me. Because if he goes against me, he is going against the Veda, which he considers the word of God. So this is the best way for interfaith dialogue and communal harmony that come to common terms as between us and you. Hope that answers the question.